<clears throat> I might be a big, bit dark, but I don't like to make light of war, usually, conflict, usually, sometimes I do, but this is kind of interesting. I want you to see this, see this footage. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Those protesters outside the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad again this morning have been throwing rocks and setting fire. Oh, look at those six guys. And setting fire. There's one. One. <laughs> you, you see that? They've been throwing rocks. There's two guys throwing rocks and lighting fire to an singular one American flag. <laughs> this is hilarious. Outside the U.S. Embassy Let's in Baghdad see it again. again this morning have been throwing rocks and setting fire to an American Flag. Uh, <laughs> let me get the camera real up close while they uh, light fire to that flag. Good morning. Those protesters outside the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad again this morning have been throwing... All right. Let's see the guys throwing rocks. Maybe, let's, let's say both of them for fun. Two. This guy right here is clearly thinking about skipping a stone or something. Three, four guys. Three flags. Uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I'll count those guys in the back next to the friggin' storage unit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen guys. All right. Second day of embassy protests. It's thirteen guys, four guys throwing rocks. And here they are, setting fire to an American flag. Is that thing even on fire? And he's wearing a military outfit. I don't know, is that a... Interesting. And setting fire to an American flag. Which I suppose, I mean, it's certainly possible that that's fire. It's on the news, so it must be true. Here's where it gets more interesting, though. Flag. Marines have deployed from their base in nearby Kuwait to reinforce security. The troops from the 82nd Airborne Division will be deployed to the Middle East in the coming days. And last night, U.S. Apache helicopters dropped flares in a show of force. <laughs> they dropped flares in a show of force. <laughs> uh, I'm going to throw these sparklers in a show of force. The 82nd Airborne is serious, though. I'm not saying this isn't potentially a serious situation. I'm just saying what I'm saying with my words. Wait to reinforce security. The troops from the Those are serious guys. Middle East. Okay. Again. So, the some troops... To reinforce security at the embassy, we assume, and and the 82nd Airborne is being deployed to the Middle East. So, some security to reinforce for those second day of protest with four rock throwers and a possibly singular burning flag, which I question. And then the embassy. So we send some guys to the embassy, and then we send the 82nd Airborne. Those guys are serious. Um, we're sending them to the Middle East. Wherever the fuck, right? This one's. This is pretty convincing. Look at this, though. Look at the last bit of footage they show. Makes it seem less ridiculous, ready? Watch. Loud noise. Everyone jump.
Patriana. Holly Williams in Turkey. Okay. So that's definitely a proxy war. But it's been a proxy war. Proxy war. Proxy war is a funny thing. You know, you ever heard of Munchausen's by proxy? Let's go out to the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, kind enough to be joining us live this uh... If you know what Munchausen's by proxy is, it gives the word proxy more meaning. But a proxy war is what we've had for... Well, technically, the United States has been at war for all but, like, what, six years of its existence? Maybe 20. I think it was 30 in total. But this last 15 years, especially, you know, the war on terror is a never-ending proxy war. I would like to see the attack on the embassy, you know, maybe I'm morbid, you know, people don't usually want to see that stuff, you know, but this is all I could find. Let's see what they actually say here, yeah? I mean, what do we have there, burning booth? Okay. Where is the tug of war then here between the United States and Iran? And how does that really get spilled into U.S. embassy grounds in Baghdad? Well, analysts for a long time have been telling me that they expect any flare-up to be playing out in Iraq because that's where the two sides have serious presence. So the Americans, they have their, uh, the, they have their soldiers there, while the Iran has a serious influence over politicians and the government of Iraq. And with this, uh, with this latest... I don't see any bullet holes there, but it looks like it's melting or burning, whatever it is, right? Escalation, all playing out in the, ba uh, in the backdrop that, uh, because of economic sanctions that's crippling the, what the, hell? the economy Why would he be... of Iran and making uh, a lot of... Uh, a lot of oh, to make more fire? A lot more, uh, a lot more uh, serious and dangerous. Uh, so right there now, it is. The all right. Take... All right. So again, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to make light. I'm trying to be uh, an informed person, giving you the information that's available with a perspective that you probably won't hear anywhere else on any other YouTube channel or anything else. Probably because uh, the truth is boring. It makes me kind of boring, I guess. So that's how I see it. All right, I'm gonna look into that other thing in a new video. I'm not here to win a beauty contest, you know what I mean?